so an increase in supply so in this video I have uh, this graph here and this shows that when supply increases the supply curve shifts rightward and at the original price which was 150 there is now a surplus after the shift of the increase in supply and when that happens what we have is a surplus right so then to get back to equilibrium because we're out of balance the price will fall and the quantity demanded increases along the demand curve and we're going to talk about this more with an example so to start off to start us off the example would be that producers they producers they switch to a new technology new technology and this new technology would uh, increase the supply of uh, energy bars increase supply of energy bars so if this is sold at original price if this if this was sold at 150 this was sold at 150 if sold at the original price which is 150 then there would be a surplus this implies a surplus and so to get back to equilibrium to get to equilibrium to get to equilibrium equilibrium we have to uh, we have to we have to uh, cut our prices we have to cut our prices and the, and the and the supply would actually fall to cut prices which leads to fall in supply because this is the law of supply right if the if the price increases then the quantity supply increases if the price decreases the quantity supply uh, uh, decreases so to get back to equilibrium we cut our prices and we go from supplying 20 million bars to supplying only 15 million bars now the demand curve stays the same but the supply curve shifts rightward and the price falls in this case as mentioned so when the price drops like I said quantity demanded increases there is an increase in quantity supply demanded but no change in demand meaning there's a movement along the curve as shown in the graph but of course no shift of the demand curve so just gonna note this so the demand curve demand curve remains the same is the same and the supply curve supply curve shifts right shifts right and price falls price falls to get to this equilibrium point and ne the next thing I'm going to talk about like the last video is we did an increase in supply we might might as well do a decrease in supply and again I don't really have a graph for a decrease in supply I don't really want to make one I just want to steal one so I'm just gonna talk about it because it's pretty intuitive in that it pretty much does the opposite of an increase in supply meaning that the supply curve doesn't move right but in, when it's decreasing the supply curve chain uh, shifts shifts left so the example is suppose that the cost of labor cost of labor and or 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 uh, raw materials which are abbreviate RM rises and supply of energy bars of energy bars decreases so that's an example then in this in this scenario what happens is that there's a decrease in supply in supply and you can guess what happens this will cause the supply curve supply curve to shift leftwards to shift left 
Now, in this case, equilibrium price and equilibrium and the equilibrium quantity will not uh, be the same as the increase in supply. What actually happens is uh, equilibrium price, equilibrium price, price will rise and the equilibrium quantity, equilibrium quantity, quantity will decrease. So, for example, we can make our graph like this. It shifts leftward, so this would be an example of, or like an arbitrary example of decrease in supply. So, we can see that the price would, uh, let's say that this was the arbitrary point, then we can see that the price rises to $2 and the quantity supply actually fell from 10 million to 5 million if there is a decrease in supply. Now we can make two predictions again. And let me just write down these two predictions. Two predictions are possible. Possible, underline it. And one, the first prediction is when supply increases then the quantity the quantity the quantity increases and the price falls similarly when supply when supply decreases the quantity the quantity decreases and our prices rise and these two predictions are extremely important when you don't know what's happening in your graph during your exam remember this and I'm sure you'll figure things out as I did during my exams and I hope you watch hope you liked uh, this video in the next video what we'll be doing is all possible changes in demand and supply. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you.